People look at stories through different lenses. I have my own personal take on some of these trending issues. Hi, I'm Mariah Ramharak and welcome to In Case You Missed It. Hello and welcome to this week's episode of In Case You Missed It. In today's show, I'm very pleased to be joined by West Indies cricketer Hayden Walsh Jr. Hayden joins us to discuss his move from the Barbados Royals to the Jamaica Tallowers. Hayden, welcome. Welcome to In Case You Missed It. How have you been? Thank you very much. I've been well. I've been training, playing cricket, playing lots of golf, enjoying life. It's so funny that you said that because one of my questions was to ask you if you've been, you know, working on your golf skills, but you answered before I even asked because I saw on Instagram a lot of footage of you playing golf and whatnot. Yeah, I'm actually at the course. (laughs) (laughs) Brushing up on my skills for sure. Yeah, well, let's talk about the Caribbean Premier League now. Everybody wants to find out. Of course, the CPL is the biggest party in sport and our Caribbean cricket-loving public, they look forward to it. This year, you'll be suiting up for the Jamaica Talawas. Talk to me about this move. What is? Was it a smooth process? Um, it, it was a trade deal, so uh, it actually had to happen. But, um, you know, talking to the Barbados Royals and, and the Jimmy Gitalowers, everyone was pretty on board with it. And, you know, I'm just looking forward to a new opportunity and a new, a new environment. Yeah. How has your time been playing for the Barbados Royals? In 2019, I remember it very clearly. You were named player of the tournament. That was your first stint with the Barbados franchise. You know, how has that experience been for you? Yeah, you know, that, it's been definitely life-changing. Um, I, I, that has really started my, my international career and put me on the map. So I just, I just was really, um, I just was really, you know, grateful for that opportunity and being around that family, you know, the, the family at, at Barbados really loves to have me around and I really love to be around them so you know it's disappointing to leave but um you know this is what life is all about yeah life is all about change and you have to be ready for it now this is a controversial question but you know based on history the Jamaica Talawas has come under scrutiny like because players like the universe boss Chris Gale you know players like Andrew Russell <coughs> They left the franchise, but upon leaving, you know, they had many negative things to say about the franchise and why they left. Are you concerned about that? Does that affect you in any way or are you coming in, you know, with an open mindset? No, I'm definitely coming in with an open mindset. Uh, a lot of the, the, the guys that play for Jamaica at, at this moment, we're very good friends. So, you know, I'm just looking forward to seeing them and being around them. And, um, you know, on and off the field. Yeah. And what's important is the 2023 season of the CPL. It will be played across five countries in the Caribbean. That's from August 17 to September 24. But Jamaica, unfortunately, will not host any of the games this season. And we all know it's a franchise tournament. But how much will you miss the Talawas fans? There are a lot in Jamaica. Yeah, definitely. I am... Um... You know, I always enjoyed playing in Jamaica. It's the, yeah. it has been, you know, as as the the CPL say, uh, the biggest party, and Jamaica definitely has a party. So it's it's disappointing not to be playing in Jamaica um, this year. Yeah, Hayden, what are you hoping to achieve for CPL 2023? Have you set any personal goals for yourself? Yeah, I, you know, I really want to make make a um, a good impression. I haven't really put numbers in terms of wickets or runs or catches, but I'm definitely gearing up to make a, a very good impression and you know, showing the world that you know, I, I this is this is who I am and I can definitely 
play cricket and bow leg spin. Yeah, definitely looking forward to see you in all your glo glory. Now, the Jamaica Talawas are the defending champions, and we cannot forget that. Are you looking forward to defend this title? Oh, yeah, definitely, of course. Um, <laughs> you know, it's, it's, it's going into that team, it, it would be some sort of pressure to, you know, keep the title, but, you know, challenge, that is what challenges are for. And, Hidden Watch is always up for a challenge. You know, I have to slip in a quick West Indies question. You've made your debut for the West Indies senior men's team in 2019 against Afghanistan. How has that experience been for you playing for the West Indies? Well, trust me, that has took my game from, you know, from regional cricketer to world class. I. Right now, I think that I, I think the game a lot differently and, you know, it's just all about execution and where, even when I'm playing, when, when I'm playing with the, the youngsters in the local cricket, I, I am so blessed to have um, all the knowledge and you know, information to pass on to them. So I really, really, I'm really thankful for playing um, international cricket. Well, you've been in and out of the windy setup. How frustrating has that been for you? Yeah, trust me, it has been frustrating even for the first time. But now that I'm a little bit more at peace, and you know, when I look back, I've really done some good things, and I, I am proud of what I've done. So whenever the opportunity comes again, I know I'll, I'll make a. a you know, I'll, I'll do well again, for sure. Yeah, and Hayden, as we get ready to close this interview, anything you want to say to the Jamaica Talawas fans as they get ready? We know how they love the CPL and they're getting ready for CPL 2023. And of course, they're looking forward for you coming to the Jamaica Talawas and of course, defending that title. Yeah, just for the fans, you know, it, you, you have my side and... You just know that I'll be I'll be fighting towards the end uh, in all games. <laughs> all right. Well, I want to thank you so much for taking the time out of your golf and for stopping by on in case you missed it. Of course, I'm wishing you all the very best for CPL 2023. Thank you so much for having me. <laughs> well, folks, that's a wrap for today's episode of In Case You Missed It. Be sure to like, share and comment. And let me know how excited are you to see Hayden Walsh Jr. suit up for the Jamaica Talawas. Goodbye for now.